This is the new Amarok, the second generation of Volkswagen's pickup. It's bigger than before, offering more space in the cabin and in the load bed. The interior is more car-like than before too, especially in the leisure-orientated range toppers, but the off-roading capability has improved thanks to shorter front and rear overhangs and a wading depth of 800mm. It was previously only 500mm. If you think it looks a bit like the new Ford Ranger, your eyes don't deceive you, as beyond the familial VW nose, both pickups are largely the same. They're built together in the same factory in South Africa and share both engines and architecture. The Amarok's closest rival will obviously be its half-sibling, the Ford Ranger. Pickup buyers aren't exactly spoiled for choice in Ireland though, with the Mitsubishi L200 and Nissan Navara no longer on sale, that only really leaves the rugged Toyota Hilux and tough Isuzu D-Max in the one-ton pickup segment. Inside there's a choice of 10 or 12 inch touchscreens for the infotainment system and in front of the driver there's a choice of 8 or 10 inch displays for the instruments. High-end Panamericana and Aventura models get more in the way of luxuries such as a Harman Kardon stereo system. Other features include active cruise control and switchable drive modes to best exploit the Amarok's off-road potential. There's a broad range of engines, mostly from Ford, including 150, 170 and 209 horsepower four-cylinder diesels and Volkswagen's own 3.0-litre V6 diesel with 241 horsepower. There's a petrol option in the lineup too, in the guise of a 2.3-litre turbocharged four-cylinder unit, also from Ford. As well as Amarok, life and style variants aimed at mainstream pickup buyers such as tradespeople, farmers and the like, there are also the aforementioned top of the line Panamericana and Aventura models, the former featuring beefier off-road styling, the latter more demure and luxurious. With such a small number of competitors, the Amarok has forged a considerable niche for itself in the Irish pickup market where it currently holds a 20% share. The new model, which is due to arrive here around the middle of 2023, takes all the virtues of the old model, particularly its car-like manners, and builds on them, adding more off-road ability, more interior room, and more cargo space in what should prove to be a highly competent package.